since I've been by here. How long you had it? Oh, not too long. Just long enough. Oh, yeah? Long enough to know it's a tractor I've been waiting for for years. Never seen anything like it. Not even close. That good, huh? Good? A tractor with full-time power on all fours, and it's just the right size to fit my farm. And a real row cropper, too. You don't say. It's got on-the-go power shifting, torque amplifier transmission, a power shift independent PTO, and a three-point hitch with torsion bar load sensing. You name it, this 2 plus 2's got it. The 2 plus 2, huh? Say, I've been hearing quite a bit about this, but I don't quite get the drift. What is it, then? Well, you get all the advantages of two tires, plus two extra free steering wheels. So then, you get two steering wheels for free. Well, then why not just call it a four-wheeler and be done with it? Now, let me show you. It doesn't have the typical limitations of a four-wheeler, especially when it comes to row cropping, plus all the other kinds of general work that you normally do with a two-wheeler. Ah, oh, come on now, Doug. You make two plus two sound like more than four. I <laughs> get carried away. I noticed. <laughs> be that as it may, this plus two gives you a lot more traction, a lot more stability, especially on uneven ground, a lot more flotation, and a lot less compaction. Plus, handling on the rows that you wouldn't believe. Is that so? The rear wheels always track right where the front ones go, straight as a rifle barrel down the rows. Never yaws one iota. Around the curves, too, the rear tires always follow in the tracks of the front ones. Now, that's hard to believe. And you know where you are on the rows all the time. Uh-huh. But the main thing that sets this 2 plus 2 apart its main advantage over a typical four-wheeler for row crop work is that it likes milk. Yes, it does. I can see that. So? So, where's your control center on a typical articulated four-wheeler? Well, it's pretty well up forward. Actually, you're riding on the front half, up with the engine and front axle. True. When you're row cropping, that's a tremendous drawback, right? Right. Sure, you lose your... Your ability to drink milk. Hey, it's starting to make sense. You don't have nearly the row crop control you have on a two-wheeler. A good point. But on this one, you do, because on... To stay clean. To... Exactly, just like on a two-wheeler. Beautiful. I tell you, there's never been anything even remotely like this tractor. I love it. Hey, I kind of got that idea. Well, you got to drive it to believe it. Hey, how about letting me take her around a couple of times, huh? I'll hop right up. But there is one condition. Oh, yeah? What's that? That you don't blame me if you end up buying one. Oh? <laughs> Once you drive this tractor, you're going to be unhappy with anything else. You're going to be unhappy every time you get up on that one you've got. You think so? <laughs> I know so. And you're going to blame me for being the one that spoiled it for you. Well, maybe, but I'd like to try it anyway, OK? OK. You've been warned. Wow, it's a big tractor. You can move really fast. He's impressed he can't spill his milk. 
ski can go through all those bumps without spilling milk. Two steering wheels. You should be impressed with this. Two tiny milk jugs able to be hoarded. Three levers for your three steering wheels. The ability to carry 40 pounds of milk with ease. You can meet with other tractors. They can move. Still can move. It can go over hills. It has tires. It has steps. It has lights. Has lights. Four lights with two extra lights. Comes with three plants. There's two lights in the back. Still two more lights. Still four lights in the back, two lights on each side. can turn corners, still doesn't spill milk. It can go straight. It can go on green and brown dirt. It, it can push dirt. It can change dirt. Move fast plants. 